Hello students, I am back in today's English class with a new grammar concept. My school's name is Vidyanjali. I go to school by car. Oh, I can't find my bunch of keys. Now this causes a lot of irritation. Yes, I think by now you have guessed children what I am going to discuss in today's class. With the Anjali, Ka, bunch of keys, irritation. Yes, these are all called nouns. So, today we are going to learn about nouns. Please open your grammar book, page 12. At the end of today's class, you will be able to define what is a noun and the kinds of nouns. You will be able to state and differentiate the kinds of nouns, understand and give examples, and you will be able to identify and know the usage of also nouns and the kinds of nouns. So let's not waste much time. Let's learn nouns. The definition of a noun. The name of a person, place, thing or feeling is called a noun and noun is also called as a naming word. For example, now when we talk about a person, it can be anybody, a boy, grandmother, grandfather, uncle, anyone. Place, it may be a school, it may be a hospital, it may be a park or playground, anything. And we talk about thing, it can be a toy, it can be a box, it can be a bottle, Feelings, happiness, grief, sorrow, confusion. Yes, I hope you understood the definition of noun. Now let us know the kinds of nouns. There are four kinds of nouns. Common noun, proper noun, collective noun and abstract noun. Common noun. From the word itself you can understand. We talk about the name of a person place or thing which are generally talked about. For example, as I already told you, a girl, a boy, yes, mother, father, sister. Now if it is a place, a building, it may be a place like a hospital, same as I told you, yes. So now let us go to things like it may be a pencil box, it may be a sharpener, anything. It can be a thing. And when we talk about a common noun, again let me tell you what is a common noun? A noun which is commonly used or generally talked about is a common noun. Now let's come to the proper noun. Proper noun is referred to the name, person, name of person, place or thing which we talk about specifically or particularly. When we talk about a particular person, place or thing, it is called as a proper noun. Now when I told you about a girl, yes, like if I take Rohini. Now I am talking about Rohini as a particular girl. Now if I say city when it is Mumbai, now I am talking about a particular city called Mumbai. Yes, now if I am talking about Harry Potter, I am talking about a particular book. I am specifying the name of the book or the place or the person. So what is the proper noun? The name of a particular person, place or thing. Yes children, you have to keep another thing in mind. Proper nouns always start with a capital letter. Now let's go to the next one. Collective noun. And the word itself it uh, signifies what it is. A group of things or a collection of things, or persons or people and animals is called as a collective noun. A swarm of bees, team of players, army of soldiers, these are all called collective nouns as they are talked about or considered as collectively as a whole group or unit. Yes, the next one is the abstract noun abstract noun. It is 
not perceived by our five senses like taste, touch, hear, smell, see. We can't use them. You can only feel like kindness, courage, compassion. Yes, all these are called as abstract now. Children, I hope you understood the definition of a noun and the four kinds of nouns. Let me once sum up before I end the class. So what is a noun? A noun is the name of a person, place, thing or feeling. And noun is also called as a naming word. Common noun. Common noun refers to the name of a person, place or thing which is commonly or generally used. Proper noun. Proper noun refers to a specific or a particular person, place or thing. Collective noun. A group or collection of persons, uh, things or animals is called as a collective noun. Abstract noun. It is not perceived by the five senses but it is only felt is called as an abstract noun. Yes, children, before I end today's class, will you note down your homework? Please take page 12 of your grammar book. The A Roman consists of the matching. You need to match the group A, there are common nouns uh, to in the group B, there is the proper nouns. You need to match them. Now, for example, the first one is country. You can, when you go through it, you can find only Myanmar over there. All the others are not the names of countries. So, you need to match. I hope you noted down the homework. In the next class, we will be learning about singular and plural, countable and uncountable nouns, and possessive nouns. See you in the next class. Thank you.